Have you ever wondered how far the human mind can be pushed? How much can it adapt? And what are the hidden layers it possesses? Welcome to the intriguing world of psychological experiments, a realm where the boundaries of perception, emotion and cognition are continually tested. From the uncanny rubber hand illusion to the daunting Milgram experiment, we're about to embark on a journey through 10 of the most mind-bending psychological experiments ever conducted. Are you ready to delve into the mysteries of the human mind? Let's dive right in. Starting at number 10, we have the rubber hand illusion. Now this is a mind bender, so buckle up. This experiment involves a participant, a rubber hand, and a clever bit of misdirection. The participant's real hand is hidden from view, and a fake rubber hand is placed in front of them. Both the real and fake hands are then simultaneously stroked with a brush. Remarkably, the participant starts to feel as if the rubber hand is their own. This illusion showcases the adaptability of our brains and their ability to reconfigure our sense of body ownership based on sensory input. It's a potent demonstration of how our perceptions can be manipulated, and it raises fascinating questions about the nature of self-awareness and personal identity. So, next time you feel certain about your reality, remember the rubber hand. It's a testament to how flexible and malleable our perception of the world around us can be. Quite a reality check, isn't it? Next, at number nine, we encounter the Milgram Experiment. This was a series of social psychology experiments conducted by Yale University psychologist Stanley Milgram in the early 1960s. The experiment was designed to measure the willingness of participants to obey an authority figure who instructed them to perform acts conflicting with their personal conscience. Participants were led to believe they were delivering electric shocks to another person, with the shocks becoming increasingly severe at the behest of the authority figure. What's shocking is that a significant majority of participants continued to administer what they thought were harmful shocks, even when they could hear the other person screaming in pain. This experiment revealed some unsettling truths about human nature, demonstrating that people are capable of carrying out horrific acts if they're ordered to do so by an authority figure. It's a chilling reminder of the power of authority, isn't it? At number eight, we have a sweet yet profound experiment, the marshmallow test. Conducted by psychologist Walter Mischel in the late 60s, this test was all about temptation and the power of delayed gratification. Children were presented with a marshmallow and given a simple choice. Eat the marshmallow now or wait 15 minutes and get two marshmallows. The real intrigue lies not in the immediate choice, but in the long-term implications. Mischel found that the children who could resist the immediate temptation and wait for the double reward generally fared better in life. They had higher SAT scores, better social skills, lower levels of substance abuse, and overall better life outcomes. The marshmallow test is a vivid demonstration that our ability to delay gratification can shape our lives. It's a testament to the power of self-control and the importance of teaching it at an early age. Makes you think about willpower, doesn't it? Coming in at number seven is the infamous Stanford Prison Experiment, conducted in 1971 by psychologist Philip Zimbardo. This experiment aimed to investigate the psychological effects of perceived power. A group of students were divided into two groups, prisoners and guards in a mock prison setting. The results, however, were far more disturbing than anticipated. The guards quickly adapted to their roles, enforcing authoritarian measures and subjecting prisoners to psychological torture. On the flip side, the prisoners subjected to dehumanizing treatment accepted their roles as well. The experiment had to be stopped prematurely after just six days due to its severe effects. This experiment revealed the dark side of human nature, showing how quickly people can transition into roles of power and authority, and how disturbingly easy it is for them to resort to cruelty. The Stanford Prison Experiment remains a chilling reminder of our human capacity for cruelty and the profound impact of situational forces on our behavior, a stark insight into the human capacity for cruelty. At number six, we encounter a fascinating cognitive phenomenon, the Stroop Effect. This intriguing experiment involves presenting words of different colors to a subject. Here's the twist. The word spells out a color, but it's printed in a different color ink. Try saying the color of the ink, not the word itself. Sounds simple, right? But you'll find it surprisingly challenging. 
This is the Stroop effect, named after John Ridley Stroop, who first published the effect in English in 1935. Why does this happen? It's all down to our brain's automatic processing. When we read, we don't have to consciously identify each letter, then combine them into a word. It's automatic. So when we see the word blue written in red ink, our brain automatically reads the word before recognizing the color. This tells us something remarkable about how our brains work. It's a testament to our brain's incredible processing abilities. Next up at number five, we have the Hawthorne effect. This fascinating phenomenon was first observed during studies at the Western Electric Hawthorne Works in Chicago during the early 20th century. Researchers were trying to determine if changes in the work environment like lighting or break times would impact the productivity of workers. What they discovered was a bit more complex though. Regardless of the changes made, they found that productivity increased simply because the workers knew they were being observed. This was a groundbreaking revelation. It suggested that the very act of observation could alter behavior and improve performance. This has major implications for work environments today. It suggests that employees may perform better when they feel valued and observed, not just when physical conditions are improved, but it also raises questions about the authenticity of behavior under observation. It's a delicate balance, but one that's essential to understand. An intriguing look at how observation can alter behavior. And number four brings us to the ash conformity experiment. Now this is a fascinating one. The Ash Conformity Experiment was conducted by psychologist Solomon Ash in the 1950s. The aim was to investigate the extent to which social pressure from a majority group could influence a person to conform. In the experiment, participants were shown a line and asked to match it with one of three lines shown on another card. The catch? All but one participant were in on the act, deliberately choosing the incorrect line. The results were startling. A significant number of the subjects agreed with the majority's incorrect choice at least once, demonstrating the power of conformity. The Ash Conformity experiment shows us that people are often willing to compromise their own judgment to fit in with the group. It's a powerful testament to how our social environments can shape our actions and decisions. A sobering insight into the power of the group. At number three, we delve into the eerie Capgras delusion. This rare disorder is a psychological condition where the sufferer believes that a close friend or family member has been replaced by an imposter. Sounds like something straight out of a science fiction movie, right? But for those affected, it's a terrifying reality. Our understanding of the Capgras delusion provides intriguing insights into the brain's complex mechanisms of recognition and emotional connections. It's suggested that the brain has two separate pathways for recognizing faces one for identification and another for attaching emotion to that recognition. In the case of Capgras delusion, it's believed that the emotional pathway may be disrupted, leading to the unsettling belief that a loved one is an imposter. While the Capgras delusion is rare, it underscores the intricate and delicate balance of our brain's workings and highlights how intertwined our emotional and cognitive processes truly are. With that, we conclude a chilling exploration of identity and emotion. Coming in at number two, we grapple with the trolley problem. This is a classic thought experiment in ethics, posing a moral dilemma that can leave even the most decisive of us scratching our heads. Imagine you're standing by a lever that controls a runaway trolley's direction. On the current track, five people are tied up, but if you pull the lever, the trolley will switch tracks, where there's just one person, the question is, do you intervene, leading to one person's demise but saving five, or do nothing and let the trolley kill the five people? The trolley problem exposes the tension between two schools of moral thought. Consequentialism, which values the outcome, and deontology, which values the action itself. It's a debate about the morality of action versus inaction and whether ends justify means. A thought-provoking quandary indeed. Finally, at number one, we have the Hidden Observer Experiment. This hypnotic experiment, conducted by Ernest Hilgard, delves into the complexities of our consciousness. Hilgard proposed the existence of a hidden observer, a part of our consciousness that remains aware during hypnosis, silently observing everything that occurs. During the experiment, subjects were hypnotized and asked to perform tasks they would normally find painful or uncomfortable. 
However, these tasks were carried out without any discomfort reported. Quite fascinating, isn't it? But here's the twist. When the subjects were told that a part of them might be aware of what was happening, they were able to recall the experience in detail. This suggests that our consciousness is more layered and complex than we might think. Hilgard's hidden observer experiment challenges our understanding of consciousness and hypnotic states, providing a fascinating glimpse into the depths of our consciousness.